And tonight, it's a story that you'll only see here on KSNT News. A local woman who lost her husband to COVID-19 is using art to remember him and other victims of this pandemic. KSNT News reporter Kelly Pelletier takes us to Holton for a look at the monument she's putting together before it's even unveiled to the public. Becky Bratcher lost her husband earlier this year due to COVID-19, and now she's helping others here in the community moving forward who are going through the same thing find a way to heal. I lost my husband um, February the 25th of this year to COVID. Sweethearts since they were teenagers, Becky Bratcher and her husband Rocky had just celebrated their 42nd wedding anniversary. <laughs> That's when the virus took his life at 61 years old. He was in the hospital for 17 days and I didn't get to see him until the 14th day when they incubated him. She says previously COVID deaths were just numbers on her screen, but after losing Rocky during the pandemic. Dads, moms, grandparents, brothers, sisters, you know, they're people. The severity of the virus finally hit close to home. Now she's making it her mission to give faces to other numbers in the community. Donald Redding, um, he liked tractors. So my daughter-in-law put a tractor on his. Bratcher and her family are painting these stones for other families who've also lost loved ones to COVID. He was in the military and he was native. They're putting the stones in front of this memorial that will go outside of the Holton Community Hospital. Their goal is to help others facing the same tragedy. Do something to help people cope with their grief. Becky says even though it's only been a few months since losing her husband. It truly has been therapy. And hopes the monument will provide the same healing for others. That monument will be placed here in the community hospital on the 24th and anyone in the community is welcome to visit reporting in Holton covering local news that matters Kelly Peltier KSNT News